Good morning once again and welcome back to my channel. My name is Doris. There is explosive goodness and radical favor that is being released in your life in this hour. Before we continue with this word, please let us pray. Father, I thank you. I bless you. I glorify your name, Jesus. Lord, thank you for this opportunity to share your word. I pray that this word is going to be a blessing. It's going to be an encouragement and a revelation to somebody. Anoint your word, Lord, even as I release it. I pray, Lord Jesus, that whoever is going to hear this word, they shall hear that which you're saying in this hour, Lord. Anoint my lips, anoint my mouth, even as I release your word, Lord Jesus. May you give your peace people the ear of understanding may you open their eyes and their ears of understanding to be able to perceive with clarity that which you are ministering to them lord they may i pray that they shall not hear me but they shall hear you lord jesus thank you for the opportunity of using me as your mouthpiece to minister to your people lord may i decrease even as you increase and they shall release this word lord i pray that that which you intended for them to hear they shall hear it and that which i'm not even been able to articulate with clarity lord jesus may your holy spirit minister to your people with clarity i thank you and i appreciate you in jesus name i pray amen now every time we hear that god is gonna favor us or there is a divine favor that has been released in our lives our perception is usually that things are now gonna be good we we pers our perception is that doors are gonna open for us there are opportunities that is gonna be presented to us we always have this perception that our long-awaited promises are gonna manifest we always think of the positive but that is just the half of it favor also comes with warfare favor also comes with battles listen favor also comes with with envy and even with jealousy and it's not like we have no understanding of this i don't know maybe somehow we kind of just expect that everybody is going to be happy for us everybody is going to be re rejoicing with us everything is going to be good because that is what we are expecting and maybe even that is what we are experiencing but that is usually not the case you see favor is a package deal and maybe sometimes i think maybe it is human nature i don't know but you have to understand that favor is a package deal and it is not just about the good that is coming but also it comes with a backlash the book of psalms chapter 5 and verses 12 it reads like this for you O oh lord will bless the righteous with favor you will surround him as with a shield there is completion and perfection that is coming in the lives of the saints of god in this month especially and you are gonna see explosive good and radical favor in different areas of your life because of the completion because of the perfection the favor of God has reached a maturation is it a saturation yeah maturation and saturation point and you are gonna be engulfed in the goodness of the lord it says in the book of second chronicles chapter 7 and verses 10 and on the third and the twentieth day of the seventh month, he sent the people away into their tents, glad and merry in heart for the goodness that the Lord had showed unto David and to Solomon and to Israel, his people. There is a goodness that the Lord showed unto his people on the seventh month. At this time there is usually a, a flow of favor that is being released on earth. There is a flow of favor that is being released from heaven. There is usually a portal that is open in heaven and these usually so many people experience favor in this particular season god is pouring out his favor immeasurably upon his people for advancement of his kingdom primarily that is the purpose of this favor that is being released it is for the advancement of the kingdom of god He'll the thing is that favor it opens doors that no man can open and we do understand that when there is favor upon you doors are gonna open for you that 
by your own strength, by your own ability, you are not going to be able to open it. Now listen, at this time, you have to open your heart in hope. You have to open your heart in belief and be persuaded in your spirit that that which you have been expecting is going to become substance. That which you have been expecting is going to manifest. It's going to you are going to pull it into existence through your through your belief through hope you must not allow the enemy to take away your hope at this time it doesn't matter what has happened or what has happening you have to keep hope alive you must keep on believing there is something that you also need to understand you see this favor can be so intense at times on your life that you may struggle stepping out to even activate it and you need to activate it for God's purposes. You are going to need faith to activate this favor. This month, God is going to overshadow you with overwhelming favor so that you can accomplish his purpose. And also so that you can accomplish the purpose for which he created you for and the purpose for his kingdom. There is going to be some resistance. There is going to be some opposition, but don't shrink back back don't be distracted with it receive this favor you have to receive this favor that has been released to you you must press forward in faith you must bless the lord for that which he has released in you there is going to be opposition and resistance to this favor you must not allow fear receive this favor that has been released to you and keep pressing forward use this favor to crush the evil that has been going on in your life use this favor to crush the injustice that has been going on in your life this favor is gonna open such great doors for you this favor for some of you is gonna open doors of nations for you you are gonna be used in a mighty mighty way and God needs you he needs you to have faith he needs you to believe in this favor that is released in your life he needs you to believe on this favor that is upon you you see this favor is gonna enable you to press forward so you must be fully persuaded that this favor is upon you you are being called out to step to higher ground you are being called to believe for greater things don't shy away from that dream don't shy away from that dream that you have been having just go for it take that risk take a bigger risk okay maybe you have you already you have already been taking a risk, but you have to take a bigger risk. You have to take a leap of faith without trying. You are never going to know just how much you are favored. You are never going to know how favored you are. There is so much favor upon you. Just imagine if Joseph had shied away from that position that Pharaoh had given to him like everybody saw that he was the right person for that everybody was perceiving the favor that was upon him hypothetically speaking if he had declined if he had seen himself the way disadvantaged he was and everything that happened to him and the rejection that he went through with his brothers and everything and he may have and he looked down upon himself and devalued himself and so like he he was not going to be able to do this imagine what would have happened you see the favor was already upon him but the favor will just have been dormant the favor will never have been visible the favor will never have been manifested in that level in which he walked in you may start something new this favor may enable you to start something new this favor may enable you even to impact a whole generation 
be persuaded that this favor is already upon you. The chains of the past are falling off. You were born for this moment. You are going to carry a mantle of authority. There is such a significant increase of favor in your life that is going to bring perfection, that is going to bring completion, and that is why the enemy has been trying so hard to cage you. But the Lord is now releasing greater favor upon you, and the Lord is opening doors that you could never have dreamt of it's gonna be come very clear why the enemy has been trying so hard to cage you this is not about trying listen to me carefully this is not about trying this is not about striving this is about god it is about surrendering to him and <clears throat> And watching him set things up for you, watching him open doors for you, watching God as he presents opportunities to you and strategically placing you in places that you could never have placed yourself in. Listen, you have to get your hopes high. You must activate that faith. You must activate your faith. There is there is such a mighty and wonderful surprise upon you most of the time in this month of july we usually start seeing the beginning of the new that god is bringing us into and you may not grasp the whole picture at the beginning but it's gonna continue to unfold as days go by there is a season that has ended and we have started a new season that is packed with God's favor. The book of Philippians chapter 1 and verse 6, it reads like this. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it into completion until the day of Jesus Christ. And the books of Psalms 138 and verses 8, it reads like this. The Lord will perfect that which concerns me, that which concerns you, your mercy, O oh Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the works of your hands. There is such a great, great radical favor that is being released to you. And there is such an explosive, explosive, explosive goodness that god is releasing in your life may the lord abundantly bless you i love you so much but the lord he loves you so much more he loves you than everlasting love and there is nothing that can separate you from his love which is in christ jesus always know that and declare that over your life i appreciate you like always and i thank you all so much for all that you're doing for me and for the ministry thank you for standing with me in this ministry god bless you